Today I want to talk about, I guess, a time blocking time task management system, which I don't have. Like, let's say that up front, I don't have this. I'm going to talk about what I want. Um, I'm going to show off some apps that are eh, close-ish. They're okay. And some of the things that I don't love about them. And ultimately, hey, I'm it's just a feature list. That's it. And I don't know. And maybe you have an app that you think will work perfectly or a way to work. And I'd love to know what it is. So buckle up. Get ready for a slightly rambling video on time blocking task managers and how the one that I want doesn't exist. Here we are. This is where we're going to start. We're going to start with my calendar. And this is what I do. And I didn't really adjust this calendar because I didn't run that day. I didn't record. I actually, this is what my day really looked like. Go one like this. Uh, only this event. Run. My wife actually ran this morning. Only this event. My videos are going to do this, actually. I already did my videos. It's 9.14. Only this event. So I did my email already. Record videos. Perfect. And then honestly, recording video is probably that long. And then this client is probably going to go only this event. This is what really should do for every day. Get kids early needs to stay because I need to remember to do that. And this is a actually going to be a content migration. So I can prog migration. It's going to take up that much time or like kind of till the end of the day until I'm done. And then I'm going to have other. And even looking at tomorrow, right? I need to actually move Patreon into today. Only this event. Finish videos. I don't know because tomorrow is going to be, I should put this on my fitness calendar, but it's going to be like, um, Yeah, probably 6.30, only this event, to, what's that like, call it three, probably be done before then, and it's 50 kilometer run, yes, because I do stuff like that, which is actually going to make like, well, that's not going to happen, delete only this event, that's not going to happen, because by the time I get home, I'm not going to want to do it, what's happening in the evening, Colin's 24 hour run, I'm not joining him because he changed it, and it's a different time. That's really a better picture of my week, um, at least for the last two days these days. I'm not going to rearrange to let you know what happened. So what do I want, really? I'll show you next week. Next week, this is approximately what's going to happen. I would technically plan this on Fridays and kind of rearrange my schedule um, to suit, right? I, actually, my Thursday running group is back, so I already know that this needs to change. All future events. Record videos needs to come in here all future events and actually probably needs to go like this all and then i need to go that all what's this yeah coaching session so that means i need to change this as well only this event so now i have like what my time block is right lunch is in here as well all record videos finish video script prep what does this do? This lets me look at my week and slot in, right? I do all my client work in the afternoons and I four afternoons a week and lets me book in which clients. In theory, what I love is a way to say like what's coming up next week. So this week, June uh, the 29th through the 3rd, I want to be able to look at that and say what's coming up and like change this into a specific client with specific tasks. Some things that are sort of like this is sorted three and sort of like this sorted three. This is it. This is the Mac beta version. It looks very similar on uh, iPad OS. A couple little buggy. So today I can actually say run. I didn't run today. It's an off day because I got a big one tomorrow. I've already done the Friday email. Oh, I'm recording videos. I accidentally checked that off. Oops. Uh, the content migration. That's good. Kids early. Good. Patreon. I'm do that today. I like that this allows me to look at my tasks, my calendar as tasks. All right. And it syncs over. I'm looking at it on my iPad here too. The sync, yeah. So we're matching between my thing and my iPad right now. My thing, are we? No, we're not matching because the content migration hasn't got over there yet. That's one thing that sort of has a tough time with. It doesn't do a great job of matching back and forth. Another thing it doesn't do, like, I can't really look at a whole week here. I can't have like, basically I want this view and I want to say, we'll go to lists here, mashup and like say, okay, like, go to a client and I'm gonna click on this and show me all my client tasks. What are my client tasks? And I can like drag and drop and say, okay, this task is gonna take like all afternoon, right? 
and they even have an optional task. What else? Do I still have Pagico installed? I don't. Well, let's install it quick so you can see it. It's in setup and it's interesting, but ultimately it just feels hard to use. So I didn't, I played with it this week and then said, no, this isn't for me. Installing. I don't want to install the backend component. Quit. Because I'm going to delete this after. Pagico. Pagico does some. Uh, if I will install it. Interesting stuff here. Yeah, reinstall. Yeah, English. <sighs> Now you know my email. Enter my password, skip the password. I don't want your guides. All right. So you can see I actually have some data in here. Um, one of the nice things on this screen here is that you've got like the things I have to do today and then optional. So I could say prep all export file. Right? Can I do that? New note. I can do that. I haven't used this a ton. Yeah, optional today. Good. All right, overdue migrate to live site. I actually did that. So I can go, I did that. Perfect. And so I can look at prep all export file optional. I can have optional tasks in a day. So if I get through everything I need to do, so planning my 50K run, um, I can go in and do that. It's great that way. Uh, it gives you some interesting like calendar view. I can see what's on a specific day. That's nice. Uh, right. And if I go into projects, I can see like it's a client. That's my 50 K run and they're tagged, right? It lets me do collections so I can do a collection. I can actually take this client. I have multiple sites for them that I treat as different projects and I can actually bring it all into one spot and along with contacts for that. That's cool. But ultimately the keyboard commands suck and it's just as hard to use. It's like a web app wrapper thing for Mac OS, which sucks. Interesting ideas, though. I, I like the interesting ideas in Pagico. Another interesting one is NotePlan, which I love on so many levels, right? So it is saving markdown files in the background. I'll do a full review of this. I already paid us today. Perfect. Um, it doesn't let you treat, uh, oh, you can see Tanner's birthday. Happy birthday, Tanner. Uh, it doesn't let me treat, what is it? Calendar items as tasks, right? I already wrote my Friday email. I am not going to read today Patreon as a task. So what does this do? Like you can actually see, I can actually see everything on a day, which is nice. But I want to see a strong week view. Again, this is where I get down to. Like I want to see a view like this and then all my tasks below. That was cool. Uh, that was cool. Right, I can go to the next one and say, like, what is on this? I don't need to do that. I don't need to do that. I paid us repeats, right? Invoice clients. I will actually technically I'll move that to uh, what day? Let's see, 26th to the 30th. I'll do it the 29th. I'll do it on Monday. I'm just not going to get to it today or tomorrow. 26th. I'll move that to Monday. Now, that's unfortunately going to move all the repeats as well to Mondays to 29th. So there's not always a 29th day in a month. So yeah, I like this idea that I can go into a daily note and I can even go into, can I go back a couple days? Let's go to today. If I probably, if I go back to where, look it up. You'll see, look, and so here's stuff that, this is actually from a note in their notes binder in this area. And I can actually say like, I owe this post, right? I did the note plan to digital bullet journal. This week, there was a check on the pack community, great. And I can actually go back through and like have notes from the notes area show up in my calendar view as tasks to do on that day. I like that idea. There's some cool stuff here too, but it's not really what I want. So what do I really want? I think I kind of already said it. What I really want is a week view like this with my lists and be able to say this is a client task, right? So I've tagged, uh, I don't have any clients in here. I'll just make up a new list, new list. The client, put it in clients. I think I can tag this. Can I tag these or no? Nope, I can only tag individual tasks, unfortunately. Unfortunately. Client task, and I could tag it as client create. So then, in theory, when I clicked on 
Oh, I hit X, so it's not going to show up. I'm not going to go redo it. Um, so when in theory, when I click on client, I'll just see filtered all my client tasks over here. And I can be like, okay, this client task and that client task and this one would get dragged into this area. Now, I have been looking around and I've seen some uh, interesting stuff with Todoist and Google Calendar where you like tag things. I'm going to look into that more. And I've got a list going in Obsidian for, what is it? Tick, tick. I should link back to it. I think task manager. Got a list going of things to look at. Meister task looks interesting as well for the calendar view, um, right? I wonder if it has a type of calendar view. There's a few others that look interesting. Sorted three is in there. Dawn, Tick, Tick, Everlist. I think there's some options out there, but I ultimately don't know what's going to be perfect for me yet. And I haven't found it. So if you have suggestions, let me know what they are. That's why I think with task managers, I think that if you don't put your tasks on a calendar with the time you have available and like look at, because you can see my calendar, right? If I said, oh, I'm going to do a whole bunch of stuff on a certain day, like I know I can't, right? I, like tomorrow, I know I can't today. I know I can't do stuff because I just can't do it. So I've got to figure out a spot to put finished videos because I'm going to be running from probably 6 a.m. till 2-ish if I'm fast enough. Um, right. And I know what I can and can't do. Right. Uh, so this, my coach likes to put things on my calendar. I actually hate it. So I should delete that because uh, that's going to be, anyway, we'll just leave that. I only have like two more weeks of these, the way the coach does this, but knowing that I can't do things in certain areas. Right. So the content migration, my wife said, Hey, it's the last day of school for the kids. We should take them somewhere. But knowing I can't, because I got this content migration at some point in here, um, I still confirming the exact time with my client right or patreon has to come but knowing that okay I, but i can do the contract migration i can do my patreon video and i can just like go for the day right and then i could go in here and i could say um this would actually be a fitness set up i run stuff because i'm gonna like there's a lot of stuff to set up for that run and i would switch calendars of course i can't figure that out right now calendars fitness done all right so knowing that I'm going to do that till about four and then I'll have the rest of the evening to be done. Being able to drop like, here's the task for that 50 kilometer run into this calendar invite. So I could look at it and say, Hey, that's what I have to do that day at that time. That'd be wonderful. That's it. If you liked the video, you can give me a thumbs up below. If you loved it, you can subscribe and then you can hit the bell and that way YouTube will let you know when things happen, but turn off your device notifications. So you don't get a bunch of crappy notifications you don't want. And if you really, really, really loved it, then you can go to patreon.com slash Curtis McHale, where you can support the channel. Have a good day.